It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. It is your feel good breakfast show. It's Expresso on S3. And we're super excited because joining us now on our couch, we have singer, actor, entertainer, and organizer of the Unity on the Square, Lukman Adams, alongside musician Emo Adams and City of Cape Town Deputy Mayor Eddie Andrews, and they are here to tell us all about the festive plans. Now, of course, you guys are all looking very dapper. Thank Likewise. Thank looking you so much. dapper. Loving the pop of colour. Thank, Thank you. you. Obviously, you when you were saying singer, entertainer, you were talking about Eddie, right? Because oh. <laughs> 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 he looked like he's ready to choreograph. <laughs> 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 he looks like he's going to keep you guys in check, I hope he is, actually, because I'm going to ask him a question a little bit later. Before I do, though, let's yes. get straight into it. Let's get into the hype of this. The festival is back. It's yes. star studded. I'm looking at the lineup. It's absolutely incredible. For those that have been living under a rock, though, that have no idea why we are all excited, Black <laughs> yeah, yeah. and in man, tell us about this event, Unity on the Square, what it's about, and when is it happening? Okay, so Unity on the Square it's, was basically an idea that uh, started about three years ago. Mm. It was my wife's idea. We just came out of COVID, and the whole concept was to create work for musicians who have lost so much yeah. coming out of the period. Uh, while we cre were creating this concept, we realized that we affected so many other sectors uh, and other line items. Uh, then uh, we, the second year, we had the youth. Uh, we tried to find a platform where the youth could uh, be performing with existing artists, and it grew and grew and grew. And now we're at a place where we can even employ 50 uh, CPUT students, oh. uh, third year and fourth year students that uh, are studying uh, event man management, obviously, wow. yeah. and uh, we can give them what it's like to be actually be on the field and okay. they can, uh, so doing the practical of, of impact here beyond uh, so just job creation. It's it's yeah. alles in one full package, and we're excited about that being able to grow like that. Then that's besides the star-studded lineup. That besides all the lickings, mm. yeah. <laughs> and we can only do it with the city of Cape Town Definitely. and Nack. I mean, and because. It's a, it's a monster. It's it's insane. We logistically, it's insane, and we plan for the whole year to do this event. So we are really, really excited about this one. Oh, we are super excited. I mean, the two of you have a loyal following. So I'm pretty sure there were people that were at the first one. They were at the one last year. Now, for those coming this year, what will set it apart? What what can people expect when they come to Unity on the Square? I mean, I think they just always try to up uh, the lineup first and foremost. Always trying to do something different, offer something different. But I think it's always about, for me, when I think about Unity on the Square, I mean, the 16th of December, Day of Reconciliation. Mm. Mm. There's so much crazy going on in the world that we forget the amazing country and land that we are in. And so this is a platform for us to celebrate each other as opposed to going up again, oh, I'm better than you and yes. you're better than me. Not about, listen, let's just put all of that. How do we bring everyone together? And the fact that it's Unity on the Square, on Reconciliation Day, you want to be a part of that. So for me, really, in essence, besides the performance and the great lineup, the fact that the city of Cape Town is supporting this initiative means that this is a show by youth for youth. Mm. And you, you have to pass it on, man. This is the this is the building blocks of passing it on. Oh, you're I love that, yeah. teasing us with the lineup. Who can we expect? Well, I saw some big names. I saw Youngster, I saw Paxson, I saw Jimmy Neves. Who else is on that Eddie list? Eddie is performing, right? Are you performing? Is, 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 what? Are you making <laughs> I'm doing, it. <laughs> I'm doing a duet with Kurt Darren as well. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so he's doing Los Lappy with Kurt Darren. Yes, yeah. Someone yeah. is lost and someone is the Lappy. <laughs> you have to wait until the 16th to see what's happening. <laughs> Eddie, look, it's not just your performances, obviously, that you're involved in, right? You've got a more important role. It's keeping these two in check. Obviously, the fact that you're making this family friendly. Why do you say it yes. like that? Though? You know, we thank you for, yeah, yeah. for recognizing Someone's yeah, got to do it, and that's a, a job on its own. Yeah. You, you deserve a medal for that, just yeah, alone. Yeah, 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 but yeah. listen, seriously, though, speaking, I mean, the fact that this is also now catering to the family. This catering to the Mensa, catering to our people. We're using our rich cultural hub to show off our talent, to bring up some talent. Thank you, firstly, for yeah. making this happen. Thank you. But how are you ensuring that the Gears remains as it has been in the past and what seems to be even better than the past? How are you making sure this box is ticked? I think I just want to step back for a, for a second or two. Three years ago, when Luman approached the city to partner with them. Mm. And uh, I got on stage and I said, yes. we will be back. This is my third time that I'll be attending the event on Saturday. 
And I mean, these guys are proudly Mitchell's playing. These are yeah. legends. They have their own following. They not just creating spaces for other artists, but safe spaces. And I think that's why the city of Cape Town is partnering with it because mm. it's a it's a family fair. We've got a festive period packed full of events, and we're partnering with the local city improvement district, the city enforcement offices, but also an NPL called Pink Ladies to ensure that our kids are safely uh, enjoying themselves in the CBD of town. Oh, wow. But I think also we can have the amazing artists, uh, Emo and, and Lukman and Kurt, and, and of course um, Paxton as well, but I think it's about unity as well. We need to celebrate our diversity mm. and the name unity on the square, mm. uh, the, the location, it's important. And we should not lose sight of after you've sung your last note and the band is packed down, let us reflect on the purpose of that particular day that we must celebrate our diversity and we all have a part to play. And mm. the arts, an amazing platform, an amazing mechanism to communicate that message that you can achieve success Irrespective if we come from Mitchell's Plain or Valhalla Park or wherever up north, that's what the arts does. And I, I really love that. And that's why we are proud, proud partners. And that's why the entire family must come. Yeah. Because our country, our social fabric is important to us here in the city of Cape Town. Oh, we yeah, are excited. Get it at your own. I see why you brought Eddie Lowe. Okay, it all makes sense Thank now. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you get your <laughs> tickets. Tickets are available at Quicket. It is the Unity on the Square Festival at Green Market Square this coming Saturday, the 16th of December. Make sure you get your tickets. It's going to be from 2 p.m. till 11 p.m. And those tickets are available at Quicket. Yeah, lots of those performances to look forward to and lots more excitement. So, Mzanzi, stick around. Don't go anywhere.